Greetings to you all. Our today's portion is Class 8, Third Term, Unit 2, Poem, My Computer Needs a Break, written by Shantani Govindan. It's a nice poetry. Let us go inside. So before going inside, I'll ask you something. What is a computer? Why do you like it? What are all the things you like in a computer? PC. You will have plenty of answers. Correct? From image, word, excel, powerpoint, browsing, pronunciation of the words, meanings of the word, opposites of the words, and many, many things you do in system. Nowadays, it is impossible to have a life or to have the world without computer. Wherever we go, be it a bank or a school, any institution, factories, industries, office, Anywhere, system plays a vital role. Without that, it is quite impossible. Because a computer can do the work of 50 persons. That too accurately. We think all this, isn't it? We feel if computer says something, that is correct. If computer can tell something like evidence... That is correct. Shall we enter? Whether it is right or wrong, how, why, what and all. Fine children, this poetry has four stanzas. Each consisting four lines. This is very interesting a nice poem my computer has always been so brainy and smart it means very simple line only my computer has always been so brainy brainy means very intelligent and very smart it seems to know mountains of information by heart See, when we study some 10 questions, it takes a lot of time. We have to memorize it. And if we twist the order, then we forget it. And that's why the poet is telling. It seems to know mountains of information by heart. As if computer is having heart. If I type a question... It give. If I type a question and give my mouse a click, my computer always gives me the answer really quick. So when you go to the Google, if you type any question, some doubts, why, what, how, when, where, any doubt, and give a click with the mouse, the computer always gives the answer very, very quick. See here, fantastic computer, isn't it? So we are praising a computer to the skies. If we see the rhyming words in the stanza 1, first line, last word, smart. Second line, last word, heart. So heart and smart. Same sound. Third line, last word, click. And the fourth line, quick. So smart, heart, click and quick. So the rhyming scheme goes like this. A, A, B, B. But of late, my computer has been behaving badly too. <laughs> One step down. See, listen. My computer 
has been behaving badly too now till now he was praising like anything mountains of information just in a click he will give the answer everything now slowly slowly he is behaving in a bad manner it means what it is so absent minded that i don't know what to do adha vechi enna pandrudune theriyala adukku ellame marandu pochu it is so absent minded that i don't know what to do it forgets to save my work and store it away so whatever i type be it in excel format or word format or in any format powerpoint it it forgets to save my work marandu pogudhu and it stores somewhere else engiyo irukudhu but where it stores nobody knows and instead makes it vanish in the most dreadful way and what happens it vanishes maayama pochu kaanaama pochu see here the rhyming words are two first line last word two second line last word do see when you see the rhyming words you should check the last word same sound if it goes then that is rhyming words third line last word away fourth line we okay and the rhyming scheme goes like this to do away we third stanza children my computer doesn't check that my spellings are right so again one more step down we are coming okay so first you are praising to the skies then little now still more my computer never check that my spellings are correct so i am typing one thing it is not checking at all and hides my files second point is first it did not save properly now it is hiding my files so that they vanish from sight it is invisible and one day my naughty computer actually gobbled a worm why are we calling the computers naughty if somebody doesn't behave or if they don't listen to the advice then we call naughty so children also if they do not listen to the advice of the teachers we call them naughty ningalu teacher oda page kekkalenaaka naughty children mischievous children solluvalya like that and behaved so erratically that it made me scream the behaving in the erratically bayangaram thappu thappa pannudhu and most of the time it is committing mistake enna nadandhunaaka it gobble the worm edho edho worm saapta mari idhukku enna enna mo nadandhirukku something wrong like a virus okay fine children and if we talk about the rhyming words first line last word is right second line last word sight third word so right sight third sentence worm and squirm so a a b b that is the rhyming scheme and if we go to the last stanza of this poem then my computer caught a virus and fell very sick that's all damn did damn tired then my computer caught a virus first it gobbled a worm worm sapta the now aduk sick aichu so i had to call in a doctor double quick even if we fall sick maybe a little late only she might have called but when computer fell sick she called the doctor double quick tint computer is inevitable we cannot live without computer that much condition no that's why so i had to call in a doctor double quick as the doctor examined my computer i just had to say doctor do you think my tired computer wants a holiday here whom do we think or whom do we talk about doctor are we talking about the real doctor no 
actually this is computer mechanic or one who repairs or one he sets computer right that person is called as computer doctor here we are personifying this poem very much whenever we give life to a non living thing and talk as if it is a living thing that is personification okay, if you see the rhyming words sick and the second line last word is quick so sick quick third line last word say holiday so say and holiday sick quick say holiday so these are the rhyming words a a b b is the rhyming scheme so i hope you understood children children now let us study about alliteration alliteration means consonant sound repetition consonant sound see in the second stanza third line if we see it forgets to save my work and store it away so here sound is repeated save store so s yes, sound is repeated no so that is why save and store is repeated then in the fourth stanza second line we see so i had to call in a doctor double quick doctor double so d d doctor and double that is repeated so that is alliteration next one fourth stanza first line then my computer caught a virus and fell very sick virus v very v so virus and very that is alliterated next one is in the second stanza fourth line we see and instead makes it vanish in the most dreadful way so it is makes most m mm. s yes, so, m mm sound is repeated makes and most so i hope you understood what is alliterating words next we will see some fill in the blanks computers are dash and dash first line itself you get the answer computers are brainy and smart second one we get answers for questions by dash how do we get answer with the mouse we do it how do we do click the computer forgot to dash the poet's work what did the computer forget to save the work the computer actually gobbled a dash what did the computer do gobbled a worm the poet actually feels that his computer needs a dash so you will also like very much what do you like very much holiday now children shall we study some personification so brainy see i told you already when you give life to a non living thing animate inanimate okay so when there is no computer is a li non living thing so when you give some life to the non living thing then we call it as personification so brainy mountains we are comparing computer to a mountain without using the word like or as like or as illama compare pandranala computer mountain malayoda compare pandrom so we call it as metaphor it is so absent minded so overa nam enna pandrom hyperbole adha compare pandranala hyperbole computer gobbled a worm computer ku poochi pulvula saapra theriyuma so it is a non living thing isn't it so when you give life to the non living thing again it is personification there is sick odam besari illaya who computer so that is a metaphor so okay children